Let's go with another useful one and staying on the same kind of subject, which is I'll just turn this guy off first. Six. And what was our previous one? So we just had another one of these high low for time period. We are going to add our overnight high, low, and our. Yeah, that'll do. Overnight high and low for the time period. So. Let's get started. Settings again, as always. And we'll set up these as we need. So hold on for a second. From the overnight, <coughs> let's just take a spot drink. Hold on. <coughs> overnight session begins. <coughs> the Globex, we want to set our time. 1800, zero, zero, zero. And we want it to end as soon as the New York session comes online. So zero 09, whoa. 09, boop, zero, zero, oh, sorry, zero, nine, three, zero, zero, zero. Unless we're gold, gold is half an hour early, just to keep that in mind. Anybody creating a gold one? So, and we want our line to stop at the end of our New York session. Oh, yeah, down here, there we go. On. So, Say 16, 59, 59, display ILO, doesn't really matter, 17, 17, doesn't really make a difference. Now uh, we leave it 16. Okie dokie, display high, low, incrementally. Um, yes, yeah, we want that, we want the high, we want the low, and we want, okay, perfect. So we have our region set to one, it's inherited, we just come in and color them as we wish. Again, we want to have this as a dash. Dash, and we want to change it a high. I like to change the height to actually red. That's resistance. Boom. Okay. We want the low. I like to have the low. Which one is this? This is our. We're creating our overnight high and our overnight low. Okay. We want to leave this as green. Perfect. We want to change this to a dash. Dash solid line. We can go, yes, let's go with our name label as well. So we want our name label, name label, value label. Again, personal preference by like O N hi. And let's tick and tick O N low, apply. And OK, apply, OK, and you have it and you can see as it's populating as the price is moving down it is generating the overnight low so when the new york session comes online this will just remain static and it will no longer be moving and we've got a nice level to work with depending on where we are at a later stage right so let's turn this guy off again where were we boop, boop, boop. hide fly and do our last and final study in this particular field. We want to go to our previous days high, previous days low, and that is going to be oh, yeah. previous days high, previous days low, and previous days close. And that is back to our was it daily D for daily, daily over, daily open high, uh, open high, low close. Okay, and let's add <clears throat> and as before. We go into our settings. This time we just want to turn off our open. So where is it? Ignore. Boom. We want to go to our high. <clears throat> I like to make this a different color. Again, I want to make it, and we want to make it a slightly different color to the overnight red. So let's go red. We go dark. Yeah, let's go dark. Dark. We want to change this to a dash, and I like to change this to a dash as well. The low, let's go with green, or a slightly dark green, perfect, looks good, dash, dash, oh, name label, yes, yes, let's go PD, PD, hi, and let's go, name label, value label, perfect, P -p -p PD, low, low, perfect, and Close. Actually, this color, this color is not bad. I'll leave that. I'll leave the color purple for the previous day's close. We want to make this a dash as well. Make this slightly bigger. Let's make this a two as well. Name, value label, B, P, D, close. Perfect. Right. I think that's everything in this particular side of things. Ready to roll. 
back to our oh that should be dash 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 why are we not getting the previous day dash uh, draw style dash dash why is it why is it not doing that now that should be let's maybe change it to a dash it should be a dash or is it just that it's a, let me just double check it. it's not let's go back to the settings now just want to see that it's not is it so close no hmm. okay let me go back in anyways and where is it it is going to be this guy so it should be dashed name and value width dash 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 right let's change it draw style line style let's change it to a dot and see what happens dot apply huh that's unusual it's not changing it dot apply and dash we'll leave it a dash find out why that's not working now let me see am i missing something here Auto coloring, label, no, include in summary, produce display name, chart, display name, region, blah, blah. Okay, let's just go back and we'll double check our settings before we continue here in the front page. Maybe it's impacting it somehow. So let's have a look. So to be sure, so chart region one, inherited, blah, blah, blah. Intraday, yes. Daily chart number one, doesn't really matter reference days back this one ah that's why okay we want one okay no no 50 pretty much doesn't need to be so much five is fine and no and let's say use day session so I, I like to round the tick size and leave that as a yes use day session only we want that to be a yes uh, graph open and close historical reference no 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 no, always use the same region. We'll change this to a no. So apply, and we go to back to our subgraphs again. So this should be. Let's see. Uh, it should be dash dash. Yes, it is a dash dash dot dot. Let's just change the size and see if it makes any difference at all. Which it shouldn't, but maybe it's. Oh my goodness, what the hell? That's so funny. Anyways, that's a CR thing. So I'm going to change these back. Who stays close? I'm gonna leave them actually. I like them as they are, so that's perfect. Okay, so we are now back in action with that guy. So apply. Okay, there we go. So we have our previous days close, previous days high, and previous days low. Fantastic. Right, we'll get there. We will get there. Right, that is that. Now let's uh, just turn that one off for the minute. Where are we? Boop. Hide. Apply okay and we are set to go and we have our pivots on there we have our overnights our highs or lows all on this guy again you can cross these over as well so if you want to create these rather than create them all on this footprint we can cross them over as we wish as well but we'll get into that we'll get into that again a little bit later back into our advanced settings and we want to have our studies uh, linked we can do all that later so that's why we're only creating them all on the one chart initially except for the pivots i like the pivots on the footprint personally but you can do that cross reference them back and forth as well so where are we? Right, we've done our overnight highs, we've done our overnight lows, we've done our VWAPs. We have 